it's your own senior night to have someone like Morgan and just the development yeah. that she's shown over her career to have it kind of culminate in a performance like this on her senior night. What, what does that mean? It felt right to me, you know. Um, I think her growth has been, you know, just really, really great to watch. And, um, yeah, just to become like that go-to player for us, you know, you just you feel like I just I want that ball to find Morgan more is how I felt tonight. You know, it's like, where is she? Let's get her the ball more. Um, but she just felt really unstoppable. And um, just, again, just the decision-making from her is probably where I've seen the most growth too and just consistency within that. And she executed so well. And um, I'm just really happy for her, excited for her future after she leaves here. Were you during the national anthem? Yeah, I'm married. Yep. Did I do okay? I remembered the words. I think I don't. Um, you know, I think I didn't. I didn't screw that up. Yeah, it was. It was good. I actually was more nervous until I got out there. Then once I'm out there, it's, I'm on my court. You know, so it's we just do what we do, and I just hope that it's not offensive to anybody. Uh, I didn't hear it. So yeah, nobody booed. And the team, I, I thought my team would heckle me, and they didn't, so I feel like that was good. And even two of them said, good job, which probably means it was better than I think, because they, <laughs> if they gave a compliment, they don't like giving me compliments. So if they did, they were probably surprised. Uh, serving today, second highest this season. What did mm -hmm. you like about it? Yeah, again, I thought a lot of people went back there and put a good ball on them. And I, I, I just thought in that second set, we really got away from that. Um, I feel like we didn't have as much consistent pressure on them from the service line, and I thought that was the biggest difference in one and three from two um, and then four, I thought we just got a little bit sloppy just overall, um, but I, I thought the service pressure was really great. Um, and again, that's something that's been, I feel like been trending in a positive direction for us and it's something we're gonna have to be really good at moving forward. I think like all you guys, but especially Morgan was really going after Weejay a lot. Mm -hmm. what, what did you like about attacking her that one? Uh, she is a really phenomenal 18 year old or whatever. I mean, she came early, so I don't know if she's 17 or 18. She's a great player and she's got a big future ahead of her. Um, no, I think just in general is wherever Morgan was is what we were trying to attack. Um, so if, if she was matched up on her, that was fine. I didn't really care who was matched up on her. Um, and then just, you know, she is, has the opportunity or potential to go off for a big night getting kills. So we just wanted to serve her as much as possible just to make it harder for her to go past to attack. Um, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that um, and just, you know, just trying to make it difficult on her because she's a really good player. Your team started the season really strong. You had a little bit of a lull kind of in that first part of Pac-12 play. Just with your, you wanted to see the team be a little bit more aggressive. Just how would you rate your aggression, you know, going into the final game of the Pac-12 season and how much that confidence has kind of grown in your hitters? Yeah, I mean, I think we're aggressive. I mean, for us still, it comes down to we, we still have to make too many unforced errors, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, if we lose, it will be probably because of that. Like, we just have to do a much better job of managing our opportunities while still attacking, while still being aggressive, but not just – and I feel like we just, like, do it in runs. And that's all of a sudden how we lose that second. So it's like we just give away five points in a row, and that just gives the other team hope, you know, and keeps them in it. And all of a sudden you get a little nervous because now the score is tighter than you – feel like it should be and you know now you lose a, a due set and I feel like that's happened to us just a lot this year um so again we just haven't we haven't learned our lesson I do think in general like again I'm talking about Morgan like she's learning how to do that so much better and Mimi has her moments and everybody has their moments but just as a group uh again to make a run of six wins in a row in the tournament like we have to manage our unforced errors better um or else that just that mounts up and all of a sudden it puts us a set behind Despite all those balls, you guys have managed to stay within pretty much the top six the entire season, yeah. or at least top ten. Uh, just to be able to credit that and to criticize your team at such a high level, where you finished last year, moving on this year, just what is the expectations for you for this team? Is it because they finished so high last year and you know their potential, so you can't criticize them about those things? Or do you forget sometimes that, man, we're making these areas and we still are the number six team in the country? Well, I think at least from like our fans, you know, perspective, our, our program's perspective, the last two years, you know, has been enjoyable, you know, has, has put us to a, in a position where we can talk about, you know, playing for the last weekend of the season and not a lot of teams can do that, but we can. Um, and I, I think it's, it's the, it's the expectations of the players is why we're having these conversations, right? Is because they're the ones that are dictating the goals. They're the ones dictating what they want to have happen. Um, so then that's the standard we're trying to hold ourselves to. So um, it's fun that we're at a standard that where we can, you know, nitpick this, you know. Um, there'll be years where in the future where we probably don't get to do that quite as much. Um, but right now we're going to enjoy that as a program. And yeah, I, I think, I, I don't know any other way but to try to become better you know, and always have a growth mindset. And so for this group to be at such a high level, the growth mindset is going to get really in the details, 
Um, you know, and I feel like that's where we've been with this group. You know, the last two years is just really in the details. So if we can do the little things better, then we're we got a shot. Given some of the fatigue you were talking about, how do you navigate the next few days? We get the day off tomorrow, and then Thanksgiving will be light. Um, hopefully, have a good practice Friday, and then you got Oregon State, who's been playing really great, um, and they're really hard to beat always at home. And I think this is one of their better teams, um, the way they're playing right now. So I think that's going to be a really tough matchup for us. And the rivalry is always that way. And then the last, you know, all the stuff. So I think that will be a tough match. Um, but then, you know, Sunday we get down day again watching the show. So hopefully we get a little bit of rest here. Um, and then there's just the emotional release of this night. I think, you know, getting your family in town, spend some, they, they're going to have Thanksgiving with their families. Everybody's here. And I think they're really going to enjoy that. And, and then everybody gets up for playoffs, I hope, you know, so hopefully it won't take much to get them going for that. But this is an important week for us, I think, to have a little bit of a reset button. Um, and postseason, hopefully, is a whole other season for us where we get to do that for a while. Because of that 13-point run with Hannah serving, was one of the longer runs of the season. Yeah. Is the next step in general for the crowd, for the program, mm -hmm. to where that's appreciated a little bit more in the moment? Where, yeah. Because that's just not supposed to happen. Especially against a good team, right? So you go on a 13-point run against a good team, like you really did something. And so, um, you know, that was – that Hannah was just hitting the spots – time and time again and really right where they were weak or where we thought maybe we could get to them and it's it's you can have a game plan but to execute that when the ball's in your hand from the service line and then to do it 12 or 13 times in a row like that was very impressive and it just put them in a tough spot where then our defense could set up our block was big we had care on their middle you know things were going well for us but very impressive to be able to go back there with nobody in the gym and serve 13 straight balls let alone dotting all the targets so you know, I mean again I think we have multiple people that can do that I would just like for that to be maybe more trust that we can do that. Just competing against Daly, you know, um, Daly's been doing a great job passing. Um, I think, you know, we've really needed that stability from Daly and um, people have tried to target her and then they go away from her. So she's doing her job really well. I thought her serving was good again tonight. Um, Kate's great and she's going to have a great future and she's just battling there. And then I, I really like Elise back there. Um, I like her leadership in the serving spot role. So we just we're lucky that we have three really good options for two spots. You have six seniors. Um, you know, a lot of them, this is their one year that they're going to be able to spend um, at Oregon. Just how are you going to kind of lean on that experience heading into the postseason, knowing we might not get to talk to you until then? Yeah, seven seniors, and they're all playing. Um, uh, I think I just trust them. You know, so from a coaching perspective, um, it's really nice to show up to work when you can just you know trust the people that you're working with. And so anytime, like, I get nervous or I worry or whatever, I just I believe that they're they're ready to go. And I think because the group is experienced and older and has shown it, like, I can really believe that. And then I think our conversations are just more like peer to peer than it is, you know, coach to pupil. So um, I think it's just easier conversations. We can, you know, understand each other quicker. Um, yeah. And then that'll change. We'll become much younger, you know, and that and it's fun to start that over again. You know, but that's where we are right now with this with this group. We've been through a lot together. Um, the relationships are um they're they're big ones you know they have a lot of experience within them so i'm just trusting them and then trusting that they're holding each other accountable and ready to go and i think and you hear in the video out there like they're they really lean on each other a lot and depend upon each other and and that's really neat you talk about cultures of program it's really great to see them you know imbibe that uh, <clears throat> ryan oppenheimer kwba sports uh you said at the very beginning that the end of season fatigue is setting in but i i want to know if uh What's, how's that been affecting, you know, the mood in the locker room and whether you've had to rev the, rev the, the players back up or the, the leaders on your team have uh, taken initiative to do that? Yeah, I think the fatigue is physical. It's not, um, it's not within the team, like uh, it's not in the locker room. I think they've been really consistent. And that's been great. Um, I try not to rev up any engines if I don't have to. Um, but sometimes I do, but I, I haven't had to lately much. But I think we have, you know, we have seven seniors. Um, their their bodies are feeling it. And so just trying to make them feel as healthy as possible going into the postseason is going to be really important over the next week. How big of a shift was it uh, showing up today and not having Skyler on the other side? And did that affect the game plan at all? Yeah, I mean, Skyler is the best offensive weapon in the country, you know, so and there's no way to simulate against her either you know so um i mean lately i feel like she's been seven or eight kills a set for them like i mean that's it's really tough for them not to have her out there um having said that i thought they played really well i thought you know there's so many other pieces for them their middle offense their setters excellent you know they're um you know i, I thought their other players were stepping up well but yeah i mean they miss her from you know just from scoring and they just haven't had that much time without her 
right, to figure out how you're going to do what you're going to do when we get into a match like that. So, um, you know, I hope she's back. Uh, the NCAA tournament is on, is better with Skylar Fields in it. Um, you know, she's phenomenal to watch as a volleyball fan first. Love watching her play. Um, you know, and, and I hope she gets that chance to get back out there. And, and I think if she's out there or with, without her, they have a chance to go far.